Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm Ashwarya here. In this video, I am going to share this easy traditional wedding guest makeup look. So if you want to know how I achieve this look, please make sure that you watch this whole video till the end. Well, so I did my eyebrows off camera and I applied lip balm off camera too. First step which I like to do before I apply my makeup is I like to moisturize my skin. And to moisturize my skin, I'm going to be using this bio oil. This is my absolute favorite. Like this moisturizes my skin a lot and makes my foundation like to stay on for a longer period of time which I really love. So that is why I love this bio oil and I'm running out of it. So this is how much I love this. So yeah, I'm going to take two to three drops of it and then I'm going to apply it onto my whole face. I moisturize my skin really nice before I move on with my foundation because I want my skin to be pretty much moisturized so that I'll have a flawless base. I'll let this sit onto my skin for a while and then I'll move in with my foundation. So for the foundation here, I have got this Maybelline Super Stay and I am in the shade 128 Warm Nude. This is really darker to my skin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a lighter shade of the foundation. I do have a lighter one with me. This is the lighter foundation which I have. This is the NYX uh, Control Drop I believe. Yeah, control drop. I'm going to be mixing this both foundations. While buying this, I was really confused. So I ended up buying the wrong shade. But anyways, I'm going to make it work. So yeah, I'm going to take two drops of it. I think I should take more. I thought two was going to go long way. But anyways, yeah, I took like four drops of it. I'm going to add one drop of it. I'm going to mix this now. And I'm going to apply this onto my skin. Dot it. I do not like to apply foundations onto my neck so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to apply it onto my face and this foundation really oxidizes. I look like a ghost at the moment but I'll show you how I'll fix it. This is anyways going to oxidize in my skin. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about the shade at the moment. I'm going to let this sit for a while. Then I'll be bronzing up my skin. So can you see it started to oxidize in my skin? It's been like just a minute and it started to oxidize. I told you that it's going to oxidize. Anyways, uh, for the bronzer, I'm going to use my favorite palette. This is the NYX Go-To palette and I'm going to use this bronzer. I'm going to use this sort of brush. I don't know what do I call this brush as. And it's really messy, so please do not judge. So, I believe it's an, it's an angled brush. I have got really chubby cheeks. This brush really helps my chubby cheeks to slim down a lot. This is what I do. I'm going to apply the bronzer now. I'm using the angle side of it only to blend it really nice because blending is the key. I go really overboard with my bronzer and my highlighter because I really like that thing. Chin time. I'm just following my natural bone. See, it's suddenly given instant surgery effect. <laughs> my chin completely vanished. I'm not hitting gym since two days and my cheeks are like really swollen. So, yeah, that is why I look so much swelled at the moment. I'm going to take the smaller brush and I'm going to contour my nose. I'm going to fix my bronzer here so I'm going to take the same sponge same blender still has the leftover foundation on it so I'm just going to go like this okay so now what I like to do is I highlight my face using this 
is that highlight is that the word right for it uh i don't know anyways i'm going to highlight my skin with this next total control drop what i do is i take this like this i use the leftover product from here my skin has oxidized a lot <laughs> okay, so what i do is i apply it like this i really love this for highlighting i don't like to use concealer but i like this product little onto my eyelids little yeah. A bit here. And a little here. Not much, a little. Now what I do is, and I take the same blender, I'll take a little product from here, and I swipe it down like this. Like, can you see it, how I did? Swipe it down a little but the bronzer should be visible okay this will make our nose look like really sharper i'll do the same with this thing i'll take a little product i'll take it little down but the bronzer should be visible and then i'll be blending it So to set my face, I, I, I like to use this Blue Heavens Translucent Powder and I'm in the shade Natural over here. I like to take a little product like this, a little of it onto my hand because I don't want to go overboard with it because I'm not baking. I'm just going to set it. Because I'm just setting it this. I'm not going to go overboard with my eye makeup. I'm going to use the bronzer which I applied onto my face and the same brush with which I applied my nose bronzing. I'm going to take a little product of it on this brush. I'm going to just apply a little amount of it onto my crease. I'm not seriously going to go overboard because I want that to be really soft and nice I am just following my eye socket okay I think that's it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this 24K Nudes palette. I'm just going to use my finger to apply the eyeshadow on my eyelids. This is not pigmented, so yeah, need to like rub it a lot. To apply it on my eyelids. Again, with this eye. I'm just dabbing this onto my eyelid. I'm going to use this eyeliner. This is by Inside. And I'm going to just do a small, small, small eyeliner on my eye. I'm going to apply this kajal on my lower lash line. That's it. Now, I am going to do my favorite part and that's highlighting. So for the highlighter, I'm going to go in with the NYX Go To Palette, which is my absolute love. I'm going to apply the highlighter. A 
Ja. My forehead. I'm going to apply this mascara. This is by Maybelline. This is the Falsies Push Up Drama Waterproof Mascara. I love this. Every product that I'm using in this video is something which I love. So, yeah. Skipping fake eyelashes because I want this look to look really easy, simple, and nice. So, even if you're a beginner, so that you can try this out. So, yeah, I'm, I am skipping the eyelashes for that. So this is an eye color which I'm using. This is by Vega. I am using this lipstick by Maybelline. This is in the shade Dare to be Red. One in doubt, Hoya Red. I'm just going to tap this because this color is really, really dark. This is like super super dark so I'm just dabbing it. So that's it for the lipstick. I'm going to apply a little small bindi. Okay. This looks really cute now. And some traditional earrings. This is the earrings which I have here. And dupatta. So here's my finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, please make sure that you like my video. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It will really mean a lot to me. So I'll see you in my another video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.